Two weeks ago in Japan, I sat on that mountain, the bald young monk explaining Zazen meditation, the release from past and future, and the silence of an Enyoji temple teaching me the here, now. And here and now we sit in the veils, a silence broken by the eternal happiness of High Five on a blaring TV which is everlasting. You, my balding father, hair stolen not by time but radiation, you sit on the bed in your tracksuit pants, bulging with the incontinence nappy below your Buddha belly, your corporeal form shapeless as a toddler's. I ask if you need anything. You don't. All your physical needs met in this daily malignant shallowness. The blastoma has excised your past and your future is inoperable. You don't remember who came yesterday or what you ate for breakfast. You have achieved a kind of benign transcendence. Only those around you feel the eternal depths of sorrow. But you are in the perpetual here and now.